On January 12, 2010, Haiti is hit by a massive earthquake. Although the initial shock lasts less than a minute, the catastrophic destruction that ensues leaves over 300,000 dead and over 200,000 buildings destroyed. The enormity of the tragedy is still difficult to comprehend, even to this day. Engineers from Miyamoto were among the first responders to the disaster region. Many witnessed the mass devastation firsthand. CEO Dr. Kit Miyamoto described it as a hellish landscape filled with people digging through concrete for their missing family. I would say there's about 900,000 buildings in this town. About 200,000 collapsed and 300,000 damaged from uh, badly damaged to lightly damaged. Why was the destruction so widespread? And what can be done to prevent a tragedy of this magnitude from happening again? In the months following the earthquake, Miyamoto trained 700 engineers, 7,000 masons, and triaged nearly 400,000 buildings. Miyamoto soon established a permanent Haiti office in order to build local engineering capacity while helping Haitians rebuild their beloved country. We're learning technique to make IIT better. We're learning technique to make our construction better. We do not want to take any more chances anymore. Haiti's earthquake was more than just a natural disaster. It was an engineering disaster. It is estimated that more than half of the destruction could have been avoided with basic earthquake-resilient construction methods. How could we ensure these terrible lessons were learned and the mistakes of previous generations were never repeated? We're not doing for the Haitian community. We are teaching them to do differently. And at all levels, at the government highest level, all the way down to homeowners, to teach them and to give the knowledge of what they did wrong, what we did wrong, because we didn't know better, and how we could do differently to save lives and to do a better Haiti. Over the years and in partnership with various organizations, including the United Nations, World Bank, and USAID, Miyamoto has organized numerous training programs in order to teach resilient construction methods to engineers, masons, and homeowners across Haiti. What has been learned in the 11 years since the earthquake? And are these disaster resilient building methods being put to use? In short, the answer is a resounding yes. Even in informal neighborhoods untouched by government or building regulations, the majority of homes now have code-compliant elements. In 2020, in partnership with USAID and the government of Haiti, Miyamoto assessed masons randomly selected throughout Port-au-Prince. Over 80% passed the assessments and put earthquake-resistant masonry techniques into practice in their own work. These encouraging results show that a decade of training in earthquake-resistant practices has not only been learned by attendees, but passed on to a new generation and is taking root across the city. At Miyamoto, we are committed to making the world a better, safer place. Hopes are high that the Haitians' dedication to build better before will continue to enhance resilience and that the skills learned will support all who work to make Haiti safer.